Let's uh, solve the differential equation y prime plus xy squared equals minus 1 over x cubed. You can identify this as a Riccati equation. We have a y prime, we have a function of x times a y squared, and we have a function of x. And we also know a solution to this equation, which is uh, y of x equals 1 over x cubed, x squared, sorry, y of x equals 1 over x squared, because the derivative of 1 over x squared, x to the minus 2, is minus 2 divided by x cubed. And then y squared is 1 over x to the fourth, so times x is 1 over x cubed. So minus 2 over x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals minus 1 over x cubed. So this is a solution. So in the case of a Riccati equation where you're given the solution, the um, correct substitution is to let y then equal to our known solution, 1 over x squared plus 1 over u. So we're changing variables in the differential equation from uh, y to u, changing the dependent variable. So uh, if we take the derivative of this, we have y prime. This is uh, x to the minus 2, so minus 2 over x cubed. And the derivative of 1 over u is the derivative of u to the minus 1, which is minus u to the minus 2 times the derivative of u. So minus the derivative of u over u squared, okay? So we substitute into the differential equation. So we have a minus 2 over x cubed minus u prime over u squared plus an x times a y squared, which is 1 over x squared plus 1 over u squared equals the right-hand side, which is minus 1 over x cubed, OK? A um, little bit messy. But we're going to have to uh, simplify this. So the way to simplify this is we expand the um, quadratic term. So we have a minus 2 over x cubed minus u prime over u squared plus, uh, let me multiply through by x here. So the square of 1 over x squared is 1 over x to the fourth times x is 1 over x cubed. The cross term is 2 over x squared u times x. So we have a 2 over x u, and then plus 1 over u squared times x, so plus x over u squared. And that's equal to minus 1 over x cubed. OK, now we look for cancellations. So we have a minus 2 over x cubed plus a 1 over x cubed is minus 1 over x cubed. And on the right-hand side, we have a minus 1 over x cubed. So this term plus this term exactly cancels this term. So we have a 0 there, right? Um, and then we have a u prime over u squared with a minus sign. Um, so we would like to exhibit a first order linear equation. So we can take then this um, equation, this whole equation, and multiply both sides by minus u squared. Okay, so we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by minus u squared. And then we're going to get a u prime and um, this one will become our linear term, so minus u squared, so minus 2 over x u. And this term is, becomes a minus x 
x over u squared times minus u squared is minus x. And I'm going to throw that term on the right-hand side, so that will become a plus x. Okay? So what we have now is a very nice equation to solve, a first-order linear equation in u. So we can solve that by using an integrating factor. So here our integrating factor is e to the integral of minus 2 over x dx. This is um, e to the minus 2 log x, right? And this is x to the minus 2, an inverse function. So that's 1 over x squared. So our integrating factor here is 1 over x squared. And then when you multiply through by the integrating factor and then you integrate, you find that u then is equal to 1 over the integrating factor, which is x squared, times a constant, plus then we have the integral here from the integrating factor, 1 over x squared, times the right-hand side, x dx. Okay? So this is an integral of 1 over x, so that's a log. So this gives us x squared times uh, some constant plus log x. Okay? So we're able to find solve for u. And then uh, we go back to y. Uh, so we have y is 1 over x squared plus 1 over u. y is 1 over x squared plus 1 over u. So y is 1 over x squared. This is a 1. Plus 1 over u. So 1 over u is x squared c plus log x. And um, we can simplify this slightly. So 1 over x squared. And then we have a 1 plus a 1 over c plus log x. OK? So here I'm assuming x is positive. Um, if you wanted x to be both negative and positive, then when we do this integral here for log, technically we would need an absolute value here, an absolute value here, and an absolute value here. OK? So that will be our solution. And c then can be determined from whatever uh, initial value you have for y.